In 46 seasons of Greenway baseball, almost 600 players have worn the green and gold, all of them part of a rich history. But one player is revered and honored, his initials on every hat. He was a great human being, I mean, great person. It wasn't, he wasn't about him, he was about team. And Tyler Pruitt was a three-year varsity letterman. He graduated back in 2001. He's just a great kid, a selfless kid, a kid who worked really hard. One year after completing his senior season at Greenway, Pruitt traded one uniform for another, enlisting in the United States Army. Johnny is his mom. They were on a scout mission and the Humvee was hit by a RPG. Tyler was in Iraq. He died a few days later. He was just 23 years old. We were met like with all these officers, you know, at the airport, full dress officers, and it's like you knew something was wrong. Every season since, the Greenway baseball team wears caps with the letters TP on the side. He's a guy who fought for our freedom, and for that I'm forever grateful. Every player knows his story, one of commitment and sacrifice. Then in 2008, Coach Matt Denny had an idea. We had some guys that complained about getting foul balls sometimes, you know. Getting foul balls was never fun. I mean, nobody wanted to do that. So Coach took a batting helmet, painted it Army Green camouflage, and put Tyler's initials on the back. Players quickly got the message. There's a lot more sacrifice than, than you know, you're making, and there's other people making bigger sacrifices. And The helmet is now a Greenway tradition at every game. <laughs> Hanging on this hook at home, sitting on the dugout steps on the road only worn to shag foul balls. That's the only thing it's been used for for uh, forever. The helmet never worn in a game, no player ever asking. N nope, never. No, no one wears it, no one, no. Nope. It was never said, but every player knew the helmet was for one thing only. It had its role, it, its one job was to go get its foul balls. For the past eight years, this hook was its primary home until throwing out the first pitch it was the last home game of this year on tyler pruitt night with his mom in the stands the helmet was about to be worn in a game and i said you know what let's let's yeah let's let's do it let's let matt wear it just one you know one at bat and then put it back leadoff hitter matt mcdonald had the honor something no one ever expected i was nervous i was very nervous he looked, he looked nervous that's for sure they look nervous. This photo taken just seconds before Matt would walk to the plate. Matthew McDonald. I took a deep breath. I touched the TP on the back of the helmet. The Saguaro pitcher would then wind and throw. Matt would swing. I saw the ball and hit the ball. First pitch. First pitch. Matt hit it hard and high. He hits it and I, I, I just like, my chest just started pounding him. I was starting to jump up and down. I was like, get out of here, get out of here. The ball would sail more than 350 feet, clearing the wall and the fences of our imagination. It almost didn't even seem real for a moment. I mean, it was just, it was, the moment was too perfect. It was too good to be true. I think there was a, a, a hint of disbelief, you know, also like, well, this is nuts. This is just nuts. Oh, yeah. Wow. Matt McDonald, a senior who had never hit a home run in his career, just hit the biggest in Greenway history. It was just, uh, Undescribable. This this isn't real. This is like a storybook. That story's gonna be told for decades. 